Hi, I'm Laura. I'm with the Merck Co-op, and today we are going to make some healthy snacks. We are going to make energy bites. The ones we're going to make today have nut butter, honey, and oats, and then whatever other add-ins that you like. If you have already tried Ashley's overnight oats video, you might have some of these ingredients already, but we still need a few other things from the store. So we'll do some shopping and whip those up. I think I might get sunflower seeds. And then we need some oats. So there's quick rolled oats, the thick rolled oats, officially gluten-free oats. I'm just gonna get the quick oats this time. You could use sunflower butter, almond butter, there's cashew butter, there's fancy ones with pumpkin seeds, whatever you want. I am a peanut butter fan, different. Staff members will give suggestions about stuff that they really enjoy. Sydney gives very thorough reviews. Whole range of jerky and meat sticks. If you've not tried seaweed snacks, they're actually really good. Plantain chips, if you're a more savory snack sort of person. Similar to what we're making today, the bakery has, they're called bumblebees. They are delicious, they come in packs of three. The co-op also has a bunch of like pre-packed snack things. The snack boxes have hummus and crackers and cheese and, and grapes. There's like pre-packed dips and salads and things like that. Hello. Okay. It's wiser to start with your liquids, your honey and your peanut butter. It makes mixing everything together a lot easier. With all of these nuts and seeds, you're getting a lot of protein. It's gonna help you stay full. We're gonna do about a third of a cup of peanut butter. A fourth of a cup to about a third of a cup of honey. This is local honey. Since it's made with flowers in the area, it can actually help with seasonal allergies if you eat quite a bit of it. You could add vanilla here. You could use a little maple syrup if you wanted to. You want everything to be sticky enough that it holds together without being so sticky that it sticks to your hands. And then our oats, we're gonna add about a cup. And then we're gonna mix in whatever else you would like. Again, this is not um, science. So that's about the consistency you want them so they'll hold together. It's sticky, but it's not sticking to my fingers. You're just gonna roll them into little balls and put them in your container to keep in the fridge. They'll keep for about a week. They last a couple of months in the freezer too. These have a lot of healthy fats, which is good for your brain. Usually a batch like this will make, you know, 10 to 12 of these. They're easy to grab when you're on the go, and that is all there is to it. So you just pop those in the fridge, and they are ready to go.